What's up everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we are playing Funkoverse Harry Potter. Uh, I'm Rob, this is Melanie. I'll be taking on Voldemort and friends. She'll be running Harry Potter and his buddies and good versus evil here uh, in this two player. It can go to four player but really it's a two player skirmish game. Uh, thanks to the people over at Funko Games for sending us uh, both of these games which is we're playing with the base Harry Potter uh, game that comes with four Funkos and uh, two comes with uh, Harry Potter and Hermione, right? Yeah. And then we got Voldemort and I believe Bell yeah. Bellatrex mm -hmm. come in the base set. And then we have the expansion, the two player expansion, which you could just buy, play with two characters, uh, Draco and Ron. Uh, but we've added those together because really they should be together. They should have sold that as one set, but for business reasons and lower price point of entry and all that stuff, I'm sure they separated it. But Really, you want both to play together. We tried with the little, um, they come with little chips. I don't even have them out here, but they're little like generic character chips that don't even have cool abilities. They just kind of are a way to play the game with six total characters because it's definitely balanced, three versus three. But don't play that way. Get, get all the Funkos, have all three versus three on the board. It looks way better. It's more fun. It's definitely balanced that way. So we're going to be playing it here for you guys. If you guys want to see different modes and stuff, we're going to be trying control on this map here. Uh, and this map uh, comes in the two-player uh, expansion with the Draco and the Ron. Just FYI. Uh, and here's what you get. You get these sheets here um, that come in the box that allow you to choose different modes. So on this side of the map, you can play leaders or control. And then on the flip side, uh, the other <coughs> side of this board has a smaller map. Uh, that can be played flags or territory uh, here and they all have different rules as different um, types of games So far, I think flags is my favorite. We have played all of them uh, We played the leaders territory and control and today we're doing control like I said um, So the rules for control are we're going to flip control markers to your color uh, To gain points here, and that's these things So we actually have it this way on the map So our starting area for me is down here starting area for Mel is over here uh, the four hexes of each con or four squares for each control area are here, here, and there. Uh, so when we get there, you'll be putting your color in there, and then I guess as control flips, uh, we'll flip the tokens and put them in those spots. So that's what those are. Uh, rules: When your character is in one of the control areas, the character may do an interact action to place a control marker with your side's color face up in any square. Uh, of that control area, you cannot place a control marker in a control area that is that already has one. Uh, when a character is on or adjacent to a control marker, the character may do an intera interact action to flip the marker over. And how we gain points in this one. So to win, we're playing with three characters per side. You can play two characters per side, but we're playing three. You get 10 points, you win. Uh, so gaining points, if any control markers show your color at the end of a round, you gain one point. Ignore this when playing with two characters per side. See, not as fun when you only have two <laughs> characters. So get, get the expansion. Um, and then if you have the most control markers showing your color at the end of a round, you gain an extra point. And then if you knock out a rival, you gain one point. And if you interact with a point marker, which are these A, B, C, and D, if you're beside it or on it, adjacent to it, whatever, and interact with it, you will gain one extra point. So that's another way to get points. If you're you know, trying to not be confrontational and run away and hide, uh, you can get points that way. Um, so there's the control areas, like I said, up the middle, our starting areas on the side. That's all you really have to know. I guess the obstructions here with the blue borders, these bushes are just kind of like we can't see through them. You can't move through them. They're just kind of in the way. So that's the way to play. If you'd like to see us do leaders or territory uh, or flags uh, with some other boards, we definitely are going to do a couple more for sure. But if you have anything you're looking for um, Harry Potter wise, let us know and we'll do that one next, uh, which which board you want to see, which um, mode of play you want to see, and we'll give that a try. Um, let's go over some of the characters. Uh, I am playing with Lord Voldemort here, uh, who has, uh, here's his defense is one. Uh, he gives you a gray and yellow chip to start here, uh, down in my pool. These are what I can use to do his abilities, like Fiendfire, which costs four, which means this little gray chip, when I do this, one of my limited chips goes on my cooldown track at the cost of four, which means it takes another four rounds to get this thing out so that I'm able to spend it again. Of course, I can do it three times because with all my guys coming in, they're all bringing different color of chips, uh, ability chips there that I can use. And range two, challenge six is a challenge action. That's what a little uh, star is beside the ability. 
And then uh, for three, you can do Confringo for a challenge action, range four, challenge two. And then after you've done that, then do a challenge two to each rival adjacent to the target. And then for two, yellow, uh, I can do Opungo. Uh, an ally Voldemort can see that is within four squares may do a basic action. And then his ongoing um, like character ability here is uh, the Dark Lord. Uh, when Voldemort is knocked out, place him in your staging area, and then you may immediately move him two squares. The next is Bellatrix, who has two defense. Uh, she has Confundo, um, which is different from Confringo. Uh, range four, challenge two, give this target a Confundo status card, which I have two to use. You can give them to opponent. I believe they stack, and then when they're used, they kind of come back to you to be used again. Uh, but it allows me to basically give it to a character. I can give it to, say, Harry. And then what it does is the next time this character does the ability action, increase the cost of ability, then remove this card. So the highest it can go in ability when you spend these little tokens, I could make it cost more. So for a three, you'd have to spend four, but you can never make it go higher than four. So the max is four. So if I made it cost five or six, it would still only go to four. Uh, and then once it's used after the next time, then it comes back to me here. So that's the first one. Uh, the second one is Imperio. Control a rival Bellatrix you can see within three squares. Make them do a basic action. So you can mess with them, make them attack their own guys and stuff. Pretty cool. And then Morse, Morse Mordre, Mordre uh, blue one, place Bellatrix on the one of your cooldown track. You can do this while knocked out. So it's a way when she's knocked out, they're kind of like laying down on the board. I can then make her kind of escape the board so that you can't knock her out right. and then get some points off it. And that kind of she can chicken out kind of thing. It's kind of cool. Sneaky. Yes. Very sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> uh, and she has Notorious Witch. When Bellatrix shifts off the cooldown track, you may place her adjacent to an ally. So she can do that, bounce off, and then when she does come back, I can get her. she doesn't have to go back to the starting area like normal. I can have her jump out and get back into the action. Uh, and then I have Draco Malfoy, who has Serpent Sorta. Uh, challenge action, place a Serpent Minion token, which is this little token here. kind of runs around the map, has two defense, as you can see. But after, um, when Draco becomes exhausted, the Serpent may do a challenge two or move three. So I have to spend three gray to get that out and play. But then once it's out and play, uh, after he's exhausted, it can do his little action. Um, Evert Statum, uh, range three, challenge two. If you win uh, the challenge, you may move the target two spaces. So I can mess with where they're going. And then two blue here, we got Hom Hominum Revelio. Choose an ally Draco can see within three squares. Place Draco adjacent to the ally. So you can kind of catch up or fall back kind of thing. And he has one defense nemesis. Draco and the serpent minion token roll one extra die when challenging rivals that are knocked down. Uh, okay, so well, you, you have, let me see here. as well, thank you. Yep. So Harry Potter uh, has a, a four power yellow. So this is a big one, obviously, when it costs four. Flipendo, challenge action, challenge three to all adjacent rivals. Then you may move each target one square. So he wants to get close to guys, then he can kind of can kind of smash him back. Uh, and then he does Expeller, Expelleramus. I know he says it in the movie over and over again, <laughs> but with that accent and all the noise, I don't know what he's really saying. Uh, two blue, it's challenge action. Range three, challenge two, take an item card from the target, place it on two of their cooldown tracks. So you can kind of mess with items, which we'll get into shortly. Uh, Protego, pick an ally Harry can see within three squares. Give them the Protego status card, which is increase this character's defense by two. Discard this card after defending. That's pretty cool. So it's a helpful one. I have a negative effect I can throw at you, but you have a helpful one you can give to others. Yeah, and I assume I can use this on Harry as well. Uh, no, you would have to do this ability to have to give it to another person. So he doesn't use it himself. Oh. Uh, yeah, because the status card's like, you don't have this status. Oh, it I see. It actually is given to somebody else. So he's being like helpful, being a friend, helping them out. He's, it doesn't make him... He already has a cool, the boy who lived defense ability. While Harry is knocked down and defends against the challenge, Challenge one, uh, or change one, sorry, uh, like attack success to a defense success after his defense roll is made. Uh, and having two defense already, he's very defensive himself. Mm -hmm. So that's how that works. And then we have Ron Weasley. He has this amazing four cost yellow ability here. Uh, Renervate. Uh, up to two allies may do a basic action. Limit once per turn. Okay, so you can't just do it back to back with all yep. three of your yellows there. And then he has Stupefy for two blue. Uh, challenge action, range three, challenge three. The target must be standing. So you can't attack people that are down, not like Draco. Uh, Draco, who gets better while guys are, are knocked down. Uh, Ron is more respectable. <laughs> he, will not, uh, he will not take advantage of them on their ground. 
And then Reducto for one, uh, blue. Choose a token Ron can see within three squares. So the only token we have is this little snake. So that is the hard counter to Draco Snake, which they come in the same set, makes sense. Uh, remove it from the map. So you have to be within three squares and he has to be able to see it. He has two defense, he's a team player. If Ron is standing, an ally that shifts off the cooldown track may be placed adjacent to him. So similar to kind of like the, the, the um, Bellatrix shadiness. Uh, okay, so then we got Hermione. Hermione that's how you say it, right? Mm -hmm. Hermione. Uh, two gray imp impedimenta. You can laugh at me in the comments, make fun of me for all my pronunciations. I do not mind. It's, it's all good. <laughs> I butcher them every time. Uh, range three, challenge two. If you win, also shift one of your opponent's ability tokens up one number on their cooldown track. So one of these tokens on my track, she can basically make go up instead of coming down as it would at the end of every round. So it just makes it take longer. Uh, Descendo, three yellow. Um, shift all ability tokens on your cooldown track down one number. Wow. So you can get back the stuff quicker. And then Asio, two yellow. Pick an ally or token. Hermione can see that is within three squares. Place it adjacent to Hermione. Uh, let's pick our items. Uh, and uh, oh, we got to figure out who's first player. So we'll let that person pick first. So we'll flip it here. And yeah. it is you are first. So we'll put that over here for now. Okay. And you can pick one of these items. So for item number one here, we have Clean Sweep 11, uh, move four. This action may move this character through rivals. Goes to three on the cooldown track when you use it. And then the, the items actually have a little spot to put them in the Funko's like uh, hands here. So whoever's kind of holding it, you can kind of put it in there. So they're, they got it. That's just kind of cool. So you remember who has the item. So we'll each get to pick one item. And uh, then the other one will just kind of go away. So between the two sets, I think two came in one set and then one came in the other. I don't remember which one's from which, but Felix uh, Felicis. Uh, when this character challenges a target, you may place this card on three of your cooldown track. Before you roll dice, set one of your die, or set one die to the three exclamation points, which is like three successes instead of rolling it. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And then dagger, challenge action on this one, goes to one of your cooldown track. You get to challenge two, which is just normal basic challenge, basically. But then this character may do an extra non-challenge action. So you can do like a move, dagger, then move away kind of thing, which is kind of cool. All right, first player, what are you picking? Uh, I think I'm going to take the Felix Felix Felicis. I don't know how to say it. All right. And I'm going to give this to... Um, well, you're deciding I'm going to pick Clean Sweep 11, uh, and I will... Give that to you. I don't know who. I'm picking Hermione. She's going to take it. Okay. So this is extra, extra movement. So like I want to give it to someone who I want to be moving around who already doesn't have ways to move around really. I feel like we'll give it to Lord Voldemort and try that out. So he's going to have this awesome broom and use it to fly around the map. All right. Uh, so we'll get rid of the dagger. We don't need that in this playthrough. Okay. And here's our control markers. And I think we are good to go. Okay. Uh, so your first player, you mm -hmm. can put your guys out in any one of these three, or these six, sorry. These six uh, starting squares here in the bottom right of the board. And then once you're done placing, I will get to do mine on this side. Okay. All right. So I will throw, let's do Draco down here. That's Bellatrix here and Voldemort in the back. Okay. All right, so, so I'm first. Yeah, you're first. So pick a character, and how it works is she'll pick one character. She'll do uh, ability or basic moves, or interact with a token or marker. Sorry, or um, pick up an ally, assist, mm -hmm. um, or you know do some other cool thing. And then once you're done your two actions, you then exhaust by putting one of these little exhaust tokens on the character. And then it would come to my turn. Okay, I am going to activate um, Hermione first, and I'm first going to do a move action. She can move two spaces, uh, so one, two, and then for my second action, I will move again for another two spaces, one and two, and she is exhausted. All right, she's going after a uh, little token here, a little point token B. Um, all right, I will uh, Voldemort first. 
Uh, let's do a clean sweep 11. He's going to do it now, throw that on, cool down three. Uh, so that will go one, two, three, four. And then actually, uh, then for his other action, let's just move one, two, up into control point uh, up there. And that is his go. So he is done. Okay. I am going to activate Harry. Uh, he is going to do a move action for two. One, two. And then he will do a second move action for one, two. And he is exhausted. All right. Uh, let's do... I'll do Bellatrix next. And she will go one, two, and then one, two. And she is good. Okay. I will activate Ron, who's my last character. And I am going to actually do an action. Um, renovate. Uh, up to two allies may do a basic action. Uh, limit once per turn. And this goes on my cooldown track at four. So let's activate Harry first. And he will just put one of those right control there marker. to control so that. Now, yep, you have control of this one down here. And Hermione will interact whoops, with this B token. All right. Getting one point and putting the B on number four of my cooldown track. So I gave you one point here is these little uh, blue gems, which I'll put yours up here and I'll throw mine down here. Perfect. We'll uh, and then Ron's second action, he will move one. No, I have to do that. Two. Yeah, yeah, you can't yep. cut through there because yep. the obs um, object is in the way. Mm -hmm. And he is exhausted. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do, I'll do Serpent Sorta. Let's see, place a Serpent Minion token in a square Draco can see within two squares. No, let's move first. So he moved, now he can see within two squares. I'll do Serpent Sorta, put a, an ability token there on number three, and we'll throw the Snake Man into play Beautiful. right in front of Harry. Nice. And, um, and then I will exhaust Draco. And after Draco exhausts, the serpent may do a challenge two or move three. He will do a challenge two uh, on Harry here. And, Whoa. Uh, that's a four. That's uh, pretty crazy. Whoa. Okay, Harry has two defense die. Mm -hmm. So. And then, oh, that's only when he's knocked down, yeah, right? The ability yeah. to change one. And I got nothing. So, so he Harry is, is knocked down. down. No, help me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. So I think they're all exhausted. Yep. We're all done. So yep. uh, what's going to happen here is, let's see. Uh, when your character is in one of the control areas, the character may do an interact action. We did that. We saw that. Uh, when a character is on or adjacent to a control marker, they may flip it. Okay. Use an interact. We've done that. So gaining points. If any control markers show your color at the end of the round, gain one point. Yes. So you get one here. Thank you. Yeah, damn, Ron's overpowered ability, man. <laughs> uh, and then we have, uh, if you have the most control markers showing your color of the round, gain another extra point. Thank you. So yeah, you're at three out of ten already. <laughs> uh, if you knock out a rival, gain a point. That never happened. And interacting with the thing, you got a yep. point for that. Yeah. All right, so that's the end of the round. So now we shift down all our stuff on our cooldown tracks one space. Okay. And then unexhaust. we pass the first player token, and you unexhaust uh, all your guys. Okay. Okay, now I get to go first. Hmm. Don't be looking at knock down Harry over hey, there. Hey, Harry, <laughs> how's it going? Let's get you off of that space. Okay, so I can move through a rival down here. Yeah, let's go Draco uh, first, and then he is going to do, let's do a move. One... I'd have to do two moves to get into here, right? Yeah, because yeah. you can't land on your yeah, guy. Yeah. So let's do a double move uh, to get into this space. Okay. And then uh, he'll exhaust. And okay. then the um, the snake is going to do an attack. And Draco and the Serpent Minion token roll one extra die when challenging rivals that are knocked down. Ooh. So he's actually going to roll 
three. three. Yeah, it's two for the basic action of a challenge, and then one extra. Oh my gosh. And that's four successes again. Okay, so um, I have the boy who lived. While Harry is knocked down uh, in defense against a challenge, change one success on a die to a defense after the roll is made, if I get any. Perfect. So you hit me for four? Yes. Uh, so I block so, one. Okay, so he's so knocked out. He's knocked out. So I get a point for that. Okay. Okay. And that is my turn. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with Hermione. Okay. One, two. Yeah. Hmm. Gonna challenge Voldemort. He who shall not be named. <laughs> do we challenge or do we make a token? But you'll just flip the token. No, I would <laughs> never do that right after. Uh, yeah, we're gonna challenge. Okay. Basic challenge or an ability? Uh, basic challenge. Uh, when this character challenges. So, but I'm gonna use my Felix, Felicis. Uh, when this character challenges a target, you may place this card on top of the three of your cooldown track. Before you roll a die, set one die to a three exclamation mark instead of rolling it. Nice. So that goes on here. And then I will only roll one die. Okay. So four. Against Baltimore. Uh, so I don't think I have any way of totally blocking that. So... Yeah, he'll just we'll get one. Okay. Defense. So he is knocked down. When Voldemort is knocked out. Place him in your starting area. Then you may immediately move two squares. Okay. Mm -hmm. so okay. That's so and that was Hermione's second action. Okay. I think we're just gonna stand up Voldemort. With his two actions. Yep. And he's done. Okay. Um, I will choose Harry next, who is on the cooldown track. Okay. Uh, now Bellatrix. Hmm. Hmm. Move in the middle here, and then she'll do an interact to yeah. get uh, a control marker on the board, and she is done. Okay, Ron. Yes, I think we're gonna do that. Uh, Ron is going to use his ability again, uh, yep. putting this on the four. Uh, Ren Renever, oh my gosh, Renevery, Renev, I can't even say it. <laughs> okay, up to two allies may do a basic action once per turn. So Hermione will do a interact and place a yep. white one there. Excellent. I never, I can't Bronze say. ability, man. Okay, and Bronze then he ability. has a Broken. second action. Um, one. Now where do I want to go? Uh, one, two. All right, so he's exhausted. He's exhausted. So that ends the round. Let's slide everything down. Oh, yeah, let's actually check the points. Mm -hmm. So you get two points? One. Well, it's it just says if you have at least one. If any control markers show your color in the round, gain one point. Yeah, ah, okay, so just okay. one for that. And, but then you have more, Yeah. so then you get an additional point. Up to five already. Ooh. I'm still at one. Great. <laughs> uh, oh, but I get one for yep. having that. Ooh. All right. So I need to take out Ron. It seems to be the thing, but it's already too late. You've already done this ability twice. But yeah. Uh, all right. Let's do... Um, the token passes, cooldown track, everything comes down. So he gets to go in your starting area? Uh, yes, or... but I have, um, if Ron is standing, an ally that shifts off the cooldown track may be placed adjacent to him. Nice. So we'll do that. Okay, and then unexhaust these. And you unexhaust yours. Uh, yep. And we're good? Yep, go ahead. Okay. I am going to use, I will do Hermione's basic attack on Voldemort. Oh, yes. <laughs> no way I can stop it. All right. So he's down. All right. Um, let's do that again. One. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, you lost it. Okay. So that is Hermione. You are good. Do Draco. Uh, let's do an interact action to flip the token. Mm -hmm. And then well, you will move one, two. Okay. Right up in your face. <laughs> uh, okay. Then after he exhausts, uh, we'll move this snake. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, you're blocking me yeah. in. Yeah, I'm just going to try to play some block defense here. Mm -hmm. Have you try not to get in there. And then that is my turn. Go ahead. Okay, I will go with Ron. Uh, I will attempt an, a basic attack on Draco for one. Three. Oh, whoa. Blocked. Okay, then I think I will do the second action to do a reducto. Uh, choose a token Ron can see within three squares, remove it from the map. And that goes on number one. Okay, that is Ron. Complete. So my serpent has been removed there is what she did. <laughs> Dirty. Ron is OP. <laughs> uh, make Bellatrix will move one, two, Oh, but she can't get to him. No, he's uh, one space away. Yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. Okay, she will um, just move one, and then she'll use the three um, Imperio to make Hermione oh. assist um, Voldemort. Yes, that's, that's a basic terrible. action. So she helped him up, you know, like mind controlled her. Uh, and that is that. Oh. Okay. Um, Harry is going to. I'm just going to lift him up for one sec. Okay. Uh, Harry will attempt a basic attack on Draco. Okay. Whoa. Four. Four. Lots of explanations. Uh, Draco, involved. yeah. Just rolled the one. Obviously, you won't get it. But I got a three, though. Wow. wow. Okay, so he gets knocked down, and then Harry will move for one, two. Okay. And he's exhausted. All right, Voldemort. Uh... I can't believe you made me stand him. That's terrible. Yes. Uh, That's all terrible. right, so I will do an interact action, of course, and flip the token. Yeah, let's just do a basic challenge on Hermione of uh, two Holy. and I get three okay nothing all right so she's knocked down and that is his turn uh, so he's exhausted and that is all we're done okay yeah. so end of the round uh, all markers are mine but I have a marker so I get one right yep. then I have the most so I get another one yep. and we've knocked out nobody there um, mm -hmm. I think that's it slide off the track here, I get my clean sweep back to Voldemort. This one goes down. I'm now first player. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, anything mm -hmm. else? Oh, on exhaust, all my guys. That changed fast. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect to <laughs> swing like that. Uh, you're at five, I'm at four. It's still close, close game. game. All right, so I go first. Yeah, let's do uh, Voldemort first. Um, and he is going to use the clean sweep 11, and he'll move four. One, two, three, four. And then he is going to do an attack on Harry uh, using fiend fire for four, uh, which is a range two and challenge for six. I think is what... You want to do, yes. Holy moly. So, uh, six successes. Okay, well, I'm rolling to die. I block one. All right, so Harry's down. Thanks. So all your guys are down, so let's... Or not all you guys, sorry. Just uh, Ron's up, I mean. Uh, okay, so you're a go. Hmm. This is tough. Mm-hmm. This is tough. So you could use a full turn to use two actions to stand up a guy that's knocked down. Mm -hmm. 
or you can use your guy that's standing up to do actions, including assisting someone, moving, interacting, all that stuff, abilities. Um, yeah, Ron will do a move of two, one, two, mm -hmm. and then he will assist Harry to stand him up. Okay. Now let's go after um, Harry. Uh, sorry, one, two, that's one move. And then we'll move in one more. No, this doesn't get me. There. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's one diagonal move mm -hmm. to get in there. Yes, that's what I was thinking. And then I'll assist and get Draco stood up, ready to go. <laughs> All my guys are here. They're a little posse gang out here in the <laughs> woods. Can't mess with us. All right. Uh, that is Bellatrix. Okay. Um... Harry's going to go next, and he's going to move one, two, yeah. and then interact with that token All right, flip it so over. The token, control token flipped. All right. Uh, and who is left? Draco uh, is going to... He will do his serpent uh, for three, and that will put it... Draco can see within two squares. One, two. Uh, he'll just put it right here in front of Ron. Um, and then I will do a challenge on Ron. Just a regular uh, for two. Challenge, yeah, that's fine. Uh, four. Nothing. Beauty. He is down. Ron is down. All right. Uh, and now after I come become exhausted with Draco, the snake's going to attack. And because Ron is down, I get an extra dice on a basic attack. Uh, only one. <laughs> yes. Three he blocked. All right. And you go with Hermione. She will just use both actions to stand. Of course. Oh, sorry. And let's do our end of round. So you have a control point. Yep. You have a control I have point. one. But then I have more, so I'll get two off of that. And I'm at six. six You're at seven, four. right? No. Oh, two. we're at six also. Yeah. Tie game. Ooh. Okay, let's do the same so Spicy. that we can see. Yeah, so sometimes they get together, they all like, you can sort of tell. There we go. Okay. All right, so okay, slide shifting down. Okay, everything. These come off. Unexhaust. Um, B goes back on the board, but I don't remember exactly. Uh, right here. Right here? Yeah, it's like a mirror. Of, oh, okay, I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe... No, it's above oh, the bush. Did I? I did. I moved that off instead. Oh, no, you're first. Okay, uh, unexhaust everyone. Harry's going to go first. He's going to move for one. And then he will assist. Oh, okay. I don't think he can see because can't this see is because, covering yeah. the corner. I don't think so. so. Okay, so then let's put him That's back. like, okay. yeah, strategically so then, kind of blocked there, so. Yeah, because he's right there. Okay, so then let's change. You can, yeah, you can get yourself set up uh, in the future on it, but you no. have to go around the back. Okay, let's do Still Harry. Let's do Expel Aramis for two. Uh, range three, challenge two, take an item card from the target placed on the two of the cooldown track, which that doesn't matter. Oh, but okay, yeah. I just want the range one, two, three. So let's do Bellatrix. So, challenge of two. Okay. One. One. And Bellatrix is two defense. Uh, nothing. Okay. So, she's knocked down. Oh. Let's... Goes on the two, which I think is fine. Let's do that again. Same. Wow. Four. Wow. Uh, nothing. Okay. So, she is knocked out. And then... Well, Belichick shifts off the cooldown track. You may place your Jason to an ally. So she's on number one of my track. And if you can please pass me a point. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Awesome. And Harry is exhausted. All right. Uh, one, two, and then he will interact and flip and then end his turn. And when he exhausts the snake, it's going to take a dirty attack on uh, <laughs> downed Ron there for three. And oh, oh. misses. That snake sucks. Yes. All right. You're lucky. 
All right, uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, I think Ron will stand for both actions before Voldemort gets his hands on him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do Voldemort. Or no, I will just do Bellatrix. She's on the cooldown track. Uh, you go. Uh, Hermione will uh, flip interact so she'll flip that token over mm -hmm. and then I will do a move of one she is now exhausted all right now Voldemort will go uh, and can I change before you move I would yeah. just do the full two uh, okay that changes anything yeah it does because I was just gonna move there and try to take that token uh, all right let's see Hmm. Let's do one, two, and I'll just interact with C mm -hmm. uh, to get a point. All right. Yeah, that is him done. We're done. Yep. Uh, so, so we both get a point for yep. having control markers slipped up. And then you'll so get, then an I get an extra. No, oh, no. You're one away? Nine. Yeah. And okay. Then slide everything off the track or down the track. That passes to First you. player token on exhaust. Uh oh. Now I have Bellatrix, oh. who has Notorious Witch. When she shifts off the cooldown track, you may place her adjacent to an ally. Mm hmm. Should she go with Voldemort? I feel like yes. Sneak up behind Hermione. All right, uh, I'm first, you say. You are first, correct. Yes. Yep. Um, I guess I can just interact with B and win. Uh, no, like, right? No. Like, that's so unclimactic. These stupid point markers don't agree with them. They shouldn't be in the game. But I guess it makes it non confrontational. But it's very anticlimactic when you just need one point and you can just get to one of those. Uh, but for fun, I will use Imperio and I'll go on three of my cooldown track. I'll control Hermione and make her get, pick it up for me and earn me the point. But do you get the point for it? Uh, yes, of course. Because I control it like she's mine. Oh. Yeah, so she'd be But you could have picked it up yourself. No, nope, not as cool. <laughs> not as cool. Uh, all right, so there we go. So I came back, Dang. got it. Yeah, so for some good positioning down here to kind of block you out, I think that strategy kind of worked to slow you down a bit, and then you started attacking me, and that is, yeah, you get points when you knock me out, but I just kind of was like praying, like, hopefully you wouldn't get any knockouts, and it would just like slow you down a bit. Yeah. Um, it kind of worked out. And I was trying to hold off on my abilities to see what you did first, but you getting those two Rons off right off the start, man, pff, so gross. Well, when I looked at the map and I thought, okay, if I get my yeah. two guys close enough, they won't be able to flip yeah, it over, you, but you, with this ability, then yeah, I would get, get the two. Quick points triggered, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the really tough. That Ron bugs me and I always forget, and then it's like too late. you got to deal with him really fast. And if you can keep him locked down, it's like very good little balance. But yeah. uh, I like the way him and Draco come on the same side to kind of counteract each yeah. other i think uh, some of your abilities are pretty strong too being able to control some of my guys they're just all six yeah but they're just very expensive uh i only have three of these great tokens and voldemort and um and bellatrix they're two amazing abilities like he, he has great attacking and then she has that whole control guys and a good attack um are all super fours and threes and yeah. only have three tokens so i only get to do that so much in a game so i have to really make them count and uh yeah draco also has a three and a two gray, and that's how I get a snake into play. So if I want to get a snake into play, that takes away from them doing the controls and the heavy attacks. So it's very balanced, like you're very restricted in these three gray tokens. You gotta be really careful when and how you spend them, I find. Um, but yeah, that is Harry Potter Funkoverse. Uh, they have so a fun. DC version that I would have liked to get. I almost got a Gen Con, but time did not allow me to get to play it and try it. But thank you to Funko Games for sending over the Harry Potter set, which is awesome. Because uh, my daughter is a Harry Potter fan. Uh, we, we like Harry yeah, Potter. We've yeah. watched a bunch of them. Yeah. Um, this is definitely fun. Nice little theme to it. Uh, good little strategy skirmish game. Uh, it's very easy to play uh, for younger players. Our daughter is 10 now. Just turned 10. 
and she played it and loved it. So I'm hoping to get her into a video uh, playthrough of it so you can see that. And we'll play some of the other modes on some of the different maps and um, give it a try out. So if you are interested in this Harry Potter Punkoverse and want to see more playthroughs, hit that like button, share it around on social media, leave comments below, let us know uh, what map and what mode or just even what mode you want to see, whether it's territory, leaders, flags, or some more control. Uh, on different maps, it definitely there's a smaller map that makes things completely different. All the maps feel completely different. Yeah. We've played on every map. We've played every mode. Um, and yeah, there's three of us that have played this game multiple times. We've spent many hours playing this game. Still a little confused. We took a break from it for a bit. That's why you may have been a little slow on some of the rules. But it is very easy to pick up and understand. Um, and the rule book's not too bad. But yes, it's a super fun game. Very good entry-level game. Uh, I hope people pick it up. It will be available, I believe, in October 2019 everywhere it's kind of like i think uh like a walmart target and even gaming source kind of game so it's a, a more of a mass market kind of game um but yeah very fun like the skirmish game awesome what do you think about it mel one of the biggest pluses i think of the game is it's fast it turns are one one yes. like a lot of not i go lot, you go not a not lot, lot of, of downtime yeah. for sure yeah so you feel like you're constantly playing not like i'm sitting here waiting for someone else to take their turn so i find that um that helps and you think keep your attention it, and you think it's a game with little funkos like toys in it basically which yeah, i like funkos yeah. i have a whole bunch uh, you can't see them on my shelf <laughs> right now but i got a whole bunch of game of thrones ones uh, but i do like funkos and my daughter loves funkos uh you think it's more of a kid's game but there is strategy here, deep choices, like yeah. I just talked about with the tokens, the ability tokens. It's a tough when to choose. I like there's movement tactics, where you're gonna be, block a guy, which way you're gonna move, which way you're gonna go. Lots of options of points you wanna go after, yeah. whether it's markers or try for the main, uh, the control or the flag or that kind of thing. Or do you wanna fight guys? Do you wanna be more aggressive? and that kind of thing or the um, order of the guys you play. Yeah, that's, that's very huge. important too. Stalling like I did there when I had a guy on the cooldown track. And I just choose to exhaust her Bellatrix so to delay to then make you do Hermione next so then I could get the last mm -hmm. last word, last laugh kind yeah, of thing Yeah, you there. can see what the other person does. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely lots. Of, it's deep. It's rich. Uh, great design. Uh, great theme. Great production. Uh, it's a great game. Uh, reasonably we like a lot. priced. Yes, reasonably priced. Yeah. I think it's going to be, uh, this is, I believe, 40 US for the set with four Funkos in it. And then I believe it's, 20 or i think it's 30 for the two pack uh us dollars uh is what it's gonna be sold for um uh, but yeah saw it at gen con saw it on the table in the dealer hall and was like this looks cool it was the dc one all set up mm -hmm. man i wanted it so bad but just time <laughs> didn't let us get to it and uh funko reached out and gave it to us uh the harry potter one for us to feature on the channel for you guys so we appreciate that thank you for sending that over and thank you to you for watching this if you'd like to donate to the channel to support us here uh the link is in the description below to head on over to patreon thank you to everyone that supports the channel a lot without you guys this wouldn't be happening anyways that's it for this playthrough and we'll see you in the next one Bye bye